Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be walking across GTA Vice City and seeing how long it takes. So yesterday we walked across GTA 3. It took us like 14 minutes and today we're doing Vice City. So we're starting at the furthest point which is just this little dock right behind the lighthouse here and we're going to make our way to just behind the stadium up here in the north western part of the map I want to say this is. Yeah, N E S W. So um we should go ahead and get started. And there's really no point to these videos. You guys, I just suggested it. And y'all wanted to see me torture myself. And the support has been amazing. And there's a bunch of people who just drown themselves over there. But um, there's really no specific way to do this. Just as long as you walk and make your way from one side of the map to the other. So I guess I can cut corners, really. Um, obviously, we can't jump in the water because we will drown. But as long as you just get from one side to the other. So if you guys are enjoying this little series and you want to see me continue it, give the video a thumbs up. If we could break 2,000 likes, that would be great. It gives me some sort of motivation in doing this because who in their right mind would walk across a GTA map? Even one like Vice City, which is actually the smallest in the 3D era of the GTA games. It still is quite big. When you run across the map, you really realize that, okay, this map is pretty big because you're not on a motorcycle or any form of like automobile. You're simply just walking and enjoying the scenery. So there was just a bunch of people there and they disappeared. But what I could do is I could stick to the beach and I could just go straight down. But I don't feel like that would be very interesting because there's nothing there but sand. So... We are going to kind of take the scenic route, as Captain Price would say. If you've ever played Modern Warfare 2, you know what I'm talking about there. But it was also brought to my attention that there is a couple other YouTubers who have done this before. And I checked them out. So one is 8-Bit Bastard. And I actually know who the guy is. I've watched some of his stuff for a while now. But I've never, I, I never knew that he actually did a video like this but 8-bit bastard as well as just about everybody else on youtube actually did like a time lapse where it's all sped up and it's not just them walking across the map so that's what's kind of differentiated me from everybody else uh peep this cop car there that's a mod that's a skin for the cop car um that's what the beta police cars looked like in the beta version of vice city but Everybody else on YouTube has sped it up, it's a time lapse, and it's not like a genuine how long does it take to walk across the map. I'm kind of taking you guys with me on this journey here, and it's not, like I said, just sped up. So that's what I thought was kind of cool about it. It's, it's okay for GTA 3 and Vice City because these maps aren't that big, and it doesn't take as long versus San Andreas, which we're going to do next. That game is going to take us a long time because the map is, like, way bigger. My hand's already falling asleep here. But um, if you guys do want to see that, like I said, let's try to get 2,000 likes for that because i got to have some form of, like, support. Like, okay, we want to see you just torture yourself and bore yourself to death by just walking across these maps. So, um... In GTA 4 and 5, I want to say you can actually walk versus, like, this right here. We're kind of jogging, but we're not. I mean, we're not sprinting, but you also can't walk, I don't think. Now, there might be an option in the controls, but I'm just keeping it, like, as, as almost factory as possible or stock as possible. I'm not sure if those are the correct terms, but I'm not modifying anything. I'm simply just pressing a button that you guys would just press to do the same thing if you started up the game. So we're not making it too intricate. We're just, just keeping it simple, keeping it old school, and, and just walking. But in this case, it's kind of jogging versus in the newer GTAs. I think you can actually just walk instead of, like, sprinting. So I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think that's the case. And also another thing that I pointed out in the GTA 3 video is that in these older games... You thankfully cannot get ran over by pedestrians, which makes it a it makes a world of difference, especially when doing a challenge like this, because you could get ran over by a pedestrian and a car, and guess what? It's going to set you way back, and you're going to have to restart the whole thing, 
Well, I guess you wouldn't have to, but it would increase your time. So, like, it wouldn't be as accurate as just walking across the map without any form of interruption. So, huh, I think I need to put my sunglasses on there. But what I'm going to do, actually, we're just going to go ahead and cut across this little just yard here and just keep on going. So... There's a bridge up here in this northern part of the map by the North Point Mall, and we're just going to take that straight across to the downtown district and over to the stadium, and we will have achieved our goal. So that dude needs to pull his shirt down just a tad bit. It looks like it don't fit him, and she needs to put some clothes on. Um, we could make a detour and just hang out at the Malibu Club. Just throw down and disco. Disco like it's 1986. Let's see if this guy... I was going to say, maybe we could get in front of him and see if he stopped. But that wasn't the case. So, uh, GTA 3 actually took us... I, I want to say it was 13 minutes and 52 seconds. It might have been 14. But I think it was 13. I've got a timer in the... Uh, under my camera. I think that's where I put it. Or I will put it. So right now I can't see the timer. I couldn't tell you guys how far in we are. But as I edit the video, uh, you will be able to see a timer. And by edit, I mean just put a timer on it. It's just raw footage. I'm not cutting anything. And I'm not doing anything to the footage. It's 100% legit. So this is as boring as it gets. And kind of the inspiration for this really was from uh, Mr. Beast. This guy doesn't do GTA, but he does, like, videos similar to this where he does boring things for the sake of people just to watch and laugh because it's something normal people don't do. And look at that. That is a nice cop right there. He was just like, I'm just going to stop and not run over Tommy. But Mr. Beast, if you're not familiar with him, I used it as an example in uh, the other video I did. Well, so I did a video pretty much showcasing a guy named They Call Me Connor who did a time lapse of, time lapse of him walking across every GTA. And then I did me walking across GTA 3, Vice City, and I'm just going to do every GTA. And in the original video where I showed Connor's footage of him walking across every GTA, I talked about how Mr. Beast uploaded a 17-hour long video of him saying, Logan Paul... 100,000 times and it's 17 hours straight so I was like if this guy can do this I can walk across a GTA map no biggie it, you know that's not as bad and like I think he even spun a fidget spinner for like 24 hours straight and the video is literally 24 hours long so um the bridge should be somewhere over here I think well I think what I can do is go this way we'll kind of cut across here and then I will go straight and then left and the video will be back but bro mr. beast is like a beast man he's so simple and like the stuff that like he's doing is just insane as far as like 24 hour challenges like that because I don't think anybody else has ever done that on YouTube Everything else is just clickbait and fake stuff. But this guy is legit. It's crazy. So we are in the right direction. Look at that. We got a store there. They don't have doors. <laughs> Anybody could just go in there and steal stuff. So we are making our way to the bridge. My fingers need to be popped so bad. And for those wondering, I am playing on the PC. So I use a keyboard. So instead of like pressing a controller button... I'm pressing the W key on the keyboard, and and that's it. So, look at that light. You know, I've never actually noticed that on top of the skyscraper here. I honestly haven't. Or maybe I have, I just don't remember because I've never really paid too much like attention to it. That's one thing with this challenge. is like, you get an appreciation for... For, like, the scenery and the environment. And I know that's weird to say because it's a video game. But, like, you see things that I guess you normally wouldn't, like, pay attention to. There's this giant spotlight up here. And over here, we've got, like, a crack house. 
That's home to a couple missions. Whoa, who's shooting at me? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! A little bit of police brutality going on here. Are you guys seeing... Oh, they, they killed that cop. Man. R.I.P. That was crazy. Not sure why that happened, but at least we didn't get shot. Actually, maybe we did get shot. We almost got ran over, too. So this building right here in front of me, that, oh, oh, we stopped. That, that kind of messed our time up a little bit. That's not good. But that building right there. Um, oh, okay. I don't know. Is that counted as cheating? I had a gun and I was running faster. That was like for two seconds. All right. Just, we're not going to pull out weapons anymore. That was a bad idea. I don't, I don't want to cheat and like get disqualified for that. So like, yep, time to restart. No, we've already made it too far. But and I don't think I could restart this. Like it wouldn't be as genuine. Okay, that's what I was talking about. There's some uh there's some titties on that. I'm gonna go ahead and cover those up so we don't get demonetized and age restricted there. <laughs> that would be my luck too. Like I uploaded a video talking about some things removed from GTA San Andreas and I talked about the hot coffee mod, which is where you get to do the doop de doo with the with women and actually do that. And I blurred out actually I put like a big black box over the like thing that was going on the intercourse and that video got age restricted still and you couldn't see anything it was a big black box and all you could see was the heads of the characters and that video got age restricted i was like man that's not cool that's pretty messed up so i was hoping it would be daytime by the time we reached the stadium which we still have about like I want to say about five and a half minutes before, or maybe about five minutes before daylight, and I'm not sure if it's going to take us that long to get to the stadium, but it's really cool out by the stadium. There's a lot of sharks out there in that water. For those of you that don't know, there's actually sharks in Vice City, but you can't kill them and they can't kill you. They're just like models and they just float. So... Like, a shark will spawn through, like, the stadium wall, and he'll just keep on going through there. So, I mean, that kind of sucks, but it's kind of cool because way back in the day, it kind of was just like, hey, there's sharks in the water. That's why Tommy can't swim. But we get closer and closer to our goal by the minute here, and we're actually almost here, surprisingly. It's gone by pretty quick, so look at that tramp stamp down there. I think she belongs to, like, a biker gang or something. Uh, up here, we've got the V-Rock radio station. That's pretty cool. And you can actually go in there, I think. Or I know we do a couple missions in there, at least. But I'm not sure. I don't think you can go all the way up in there. I don't think there's an interior. Oh. Well, they, it looks like they were fixing to make out or something. So we are making our way downtown. Walking fast. Faces past and I'm homebound. Do, 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 do. So I don't know if I should turn here or here. I don't think it matters. So we'll go ahead and just go this way. Oh, that moon is like, there's a super moon back there. I need you. Dun, 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 and I miss you. Dun, 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 dun. So we are at the Hyman Memorial Stadium. You know you like I said, man, I really am disappointed that it's not daytime out. I love the daytime, but it's been a pretty swell journey so far. So the stadium is in like a very odd shape. I'm going to kind of wing it and guess when I'm at the back part of it, which I don't think should be hard because we've got to stay true to our word and go to the very back part of the stadium for this to count. So... I want to say, you know, like I told you guys earlier, there's not a timer right now. I don't know how long we've been going. But I want to say we are probably 10 minutes in, maybe 11 or 12, somewhere around there right now. What's also cool in the daytime back here is you can see like way off in the distance. Like there's that boat right there, but like way out there. There will be the silhouette of like a sailboat. And... It's a ghost ship. Like, even if you teleported way out there, there would be nothing there. You wouldn't be able to reach it. 
And that, I can't tell. Is that like a light? Or is that like a secret window? I don't know. That's kind of mysterious. Look at that. It's probably a light. Yeah, that's what my guess would be. We are almost there. I think like right up here around this corner over here. I think that will be... I think that'll be it. I'm so thrilled. It's been such a long journey. And to think that we're going to do GTA San Andreas. I'm honestly like kind of scared. That's going to take a long time. I've seen some people did it and they it like or one guy who I was inspired by and it took him literally Oh, I think we're here. We're here. So right here we could stop the timer. So there's a couple extra seconds give or take, but that is walking across GTA Vice City. We did it. We made it from the lighthouse we went all the way up here, all the way over, just like that, and here we are back here. So, there's those ghost ships I was telling you guys about just a second ago. They're just way out there in the distance. I'm surprised there isn't any sharks out here right now. Usually, there's a couple of them. There's, like, some fish over there. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see me walk across GTA San Andreas, give it a thumbs up. We got to get 2,000 likes, guys. There's another ghost ship. That one's kind of scary. But, uh... If you're enjoying it, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up the butt. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Never miss out on another daily video game upload. And with that said now out the way, my name is Zach Cox. Thank you guys for stopping by. And I will see you all in the next video.